So, this is how investment banking works. These are my flatmates, Zach and Lucy. They represent the client, a large company. These clients come to an investment bank for guidance on the structure of their debt or equity. They also come to the investment bank to find investors or to float their business on the stock market. In this example, the client is trying to merge with another company. We just found our dream house for next year, but the problem is there are six bedrooms and only three of us. We basically need to find three new housemates. Oh, ones we actually want to live with. That's where I come in. As the investment bank, I use my research and understanding of the industry to advise clients on the best acquisitions to make and how to do it. Look, I heard the guys in flat four talking about how they were struggling to find a house for next year. Why don't we ask them if they want to merge? Good idea, I'll text them now. It's also the investment bank's role to negotiate the terms of the merger or acquisition. Oh. Hello? Oh, uh, okay. They said they can't afford it. No one's willing to go above 80 a week. Hiya! Look, we'll cut you a deal. You guys can pay less if you're willing to take the smaller rooms. Also, did Lucy mention how close the house is to uni? What you're paying in rent you'll be saving by not having to get the bus? I'll send them pictures so they can see how beautiful it is inside. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. I think they're tempted. Yeah. Really nice house, really big, yet yeah, great for parties. <laughs> it's the role of the investment bank to act as a trusted advisor to clients in their corporate finance decisions and to use the investment bank's research and insight into the industry to guide them in their investments, equity and debt. Yeah? Yeah? Amazing, we'll send you the stuff over now. They're in. Oh yes, I'll call the landlord. <laughs>